Princess Margaret's father, King George VI, wanted to honour officers who distinguished themselves during the Second World War. He came up with the idea of appointing such people as his equerry for a period of three months at a time. In March 1944, the position was given to a tall, slim, dashing former fighter pilot. The royal household loved him, and the king saw him as the son he'd never had. So he decided to keep him on permanently, and his name was Peter Townsend. Rumours of a romance between Townsend and the princess had persisted for some time, but they had always swiftly denied them. But in reality, their love was blossoming, and in April 1953, Townsend proposed marriage to Margaret. This was to begin a very difficult period of Margaret's life because Townsend was not seen as a suitable match for the sister of the Queen. He was 15 years older, a commoner and a divorcee at a time when the Church of England didn't recognise divorce. Well, you have to remember that we were in the age of deference when Peter Townsend and Princess Margaret's romance blossomed. Divorce at the time, in 1952, would have been absolutely unheard of in royal circles. A divorcee couldn't even enter the royal enclosure at Royal Ascot, never mind marry a royal princess. It was, it was just unheard of, unthinkable. Despite the controversy a marriage to Peter Townsend was bound to provoke, Princess Margaret said yes when he proposed in April 1953. But due to the 18th century Royal Marriages Act, she needed her sister, the Queen's permission, for the marriage to go ahead. But the Queen, bound by her position as Supreme Governor of the Church of England, told the pair she couldn't get involved. Nevertheless, she was sympathetic and did want her sister to be happy. So she made only one request. Under the circumstances, it isn't unreasonable for me to ask you to wait a year. She believed that Margaret should make up her own mind and that if she held off, she would be better placed to decide if this was truly what she wanted. And to be honest, perhaps she hoped that the whole thing would just blow over. <laughs> 